Hello, I am Meher, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I am going to show you how to limit access of AWS IAM users to an Amazon RDS instance. Then, I will show you how to give the least privileges required to perform specific actions for an Amazon RDS instance. Let's get started. Sign into the AWS Management Console, select Services, and go to the IAM Console. On the IAM console, choose Users from the navigation pane. Choose Add User and enter a username. For access type, choose AWS Management Console Access and create a custom password for using the Amazon RDS console. To provide access to the AWS command line interface, choose Programmatic Access. Important. For programmatic access, be sure to download the access key ID and the secret access key for, by choosing the download.csv. You need the keys to create the security tokens later. Choose next permissions. Choose next tags. Choose next review. Review the permissions and tags and then choose create user. Return to the IAM console and choose users from the navigation pane. Choose the user that you created. From the Permissions tab, choose Add Inline Policy. Choose the JSON tab and enter one or more of the following IAM policy based on your use case. Creating and deleting RDS DB instances. Stopping and starting RDS DB instances. Performing backup and recovery. Creating DB snapshots. Restoring DB instance from DB snapshots and point in time restore. Modifying RDS DB instances. Enabling Enhanced Monitoring and Performance Insights. Creating, modifying and deleting DB parameter groups and DB option groups. Viewing Amazon CloudWatch metrics from the Amazon RDS console. Note, the following policies provide the least privileges required to perform the specific actions. You might see errors such as IAM user is not authorized to perform RDS action in the uh, Amazon RDS console because this privilege isn't present in the policy. Most often this error occurs for describe actions. The error is expected and it does not affect your ability to perform those actions. To avoid this error, you can modify the following IAM policies or you can perform the actions using AWS CLI. I'll choose the policy to allow users to create and delete RDS DB instances. Choose Review Policy. Enter a name for your policy. Choose Create Policy. So now you have created an IAM user with the least privileges required to perform a specific action for an Amazon RDS instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.